Guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you an awesome clutch of animals that uh, just shut out, so stay tuned. Guys, do me a favor, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe real quick. Just got to put that in there. Weird. I feel weird. I'm feeling weird, guys. It's been a while. I missed you. All right, so this was our fire spot news. Triple head, holy grail, hopefully. We're not sure on the uh, pod yet, but we put him to a super fly calico hidden gene Woma. And uh, still hit the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna show you these real quick, right quick. Number one, we got a little pastel here. I think this is a, what was this, a male? Yes. So this is a pastel, 50% het, lavender clown, and then it's also pos het pied. And uh, line me up. We think that these are both, actually, there's three of them. What do you think about these? I think these are the same. So this would be pastel spot nose with the same hats, lavender, clown, and pied. I think this is the fire in it, and that's why it's brighter. Right? And then I'm guessing. Man, look at that back pattern man this has to be a firefly hidden gene woma doesn't seem right to me though so with these don't forget that we hit that krypton with the sibling mother so the mothers could have a heck cryptic in them or yeah it's, then there's that whole weird thing I'm not sure about we <laughs> This is the first season we've seen it, really, so we're gonna try to chase it down, but what's some what weird is? animals? So this is a pastel. And none of these are hidden Jimoma. I mean they they look almost hidden Jimoma, but not. I can't I'll be honest with you guys, like th these past couple of clutches have had me real confused because you know, if we had a pastel here, there's only so many things it can be, right? And I use process of elimination a lot of times. Um, so, pastel. This one would be a pastel something. And this is also a pastel, I'm saying fire. But it, it doesn't look hidden gene woman to me. It doesn't look calico. Mm -mm. Doesn't look spot nose. And those were the only other genes in it. <laughs> yeah but you know we also from that same type of animals got this which everybody's saying like they're asking people about it and they're saying it's got to be like a fire a weird fire with like het influence in it but it looks like Mahabi. mystic or phantom or hobby or something like that but that's not in the pairing at all and they're it's a virgin mother on both of these clutches right. was virgin mothers and they're siblings the mothers are siblings and both I almost identical to each other so I don't I just I don't know guys I'm sorry I'm failing you as a breeder <laughs> torch me in the comments I don't know if there's anybody that's watching that's really really good with cryptic stuff we'd love to talk to you some more chat you up I mean when I look at the heads of these it doesn't scream cryptic Cryptic no. or Krypton to me. Nope. I don't even know how we would know a het cryptic. So this is what I'm I'm working with here. I don't know. I think these we have ID'd properly. Pastel spot nose, firefly spot nose, and a pastel. But then these, just like that other female, they have that, you know, kind of like bell complex look to them. And I don't know what they are. So, 
Ben, Ben's like, man, we gotta sell stuff. I'm like, how can we sell stuff? We can't freaking ID it. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. And it's like potentially really expensive stuff, you know? Because of the triple hat stuff, it's like, could be. If those are all hit holy grail, I mean, and then the other weird stuff that's going on, I don't know, guys. So, but that's the update of that clutch. Why don't we show the parents? Let's show the parents. So here's the sire, and this uh, we got this from uh, the Chase Charity Auctions that they were having uh, for JKR. And this is actually from Justin. It's a fire spot nose that's 100% hit lavender clown and 50% hit pied. So, I mean, it looks fire spot nose to me. I don't see anything extra. You know? The color and the, the pattern sort of look like, not all the way, but sort of look like that one weird fire we said, but the head and the, the dorsal stripe are different. Yeah, I mean the eye bands look fine. Like, I don't see anything. It can't be head cryptic because if it was, then it wouldn't be. Right. Like we've already produced a clown with this. So. Right. Uh huh. We'll show you the female now. All right. So this is the female we produced her. Super pastel fire. What we were calling calico hidden g1 but it came from a calico pairing and you see how like washed out it is it's not like classic calico looking in my opinion and like this erased dorsal stripe is just i don't know as a baby it looked more calico than it does now i just don't know man so yeah Try to show you the head. Looks not crazy. So, and we have her mother there too. If you want to show that, you can show them side by side. Good luck. So the hinge moma stuff we've had has been um, pretty feisty. Pretty much, they're all of them. Well, this isn't hinge moma. Right, but. This one is being very docile right now. This this one. Her sister bit me the last time. I, not the last time, one of the last times. So this know. is the Super Pastel Fire Calico. And it does not look typical. Yeah. This, all the speckling showed up more and more as she gets older. She was born pretty much looking like a white snake. And then every shed, a little bit more pigment came in. Because if you look back at the cutting video of that when she was born, we're like, how the heck did we get a white snake? We shouldn't be getting a white snake in this pairing. And then bit by bit, all this color started to come in. So I don't know. It has this cool paradoxing here. But the paradoxing, I feel like, showed up. It's not like it was there before. <laughs> So yeah, this is an atypical animal that produced an atypical animal that's now producing this stuff that we can't figure out. So I don't know, man. It's third generation. You're gonna have to forgive us on this one because this is like a little Willy Wonka crap that we've been working on, so. Yeah, it's not even, oh, it does have the cleanup gene. It's possible there are little tiny cleanup genes here or there that are in a lot of people's collections that Unless you have a lot of space and time, they just get ignored. So, I don't know. I don't want to go around talking about, oh, this is some extra blah, 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 gene, yada, yada, because we don't know anything about it. We just know that we have a group of animals that make weird things that don't make sense. And now we're, we are uh, dealing with the fruits of that right now, being punished <laughs> because we're making animals we can't ID and we look like idiots. But it looks cool. Looks awesome and I love them. Yeah, so if you guys want to get in on the ground floor of our craziness, we'll call it our uh, our mystery basket of animals. We'll send them to you in a purple bag with a question mark in it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there you go. Do a closing. 
I have <coughs> some energy. I have tons of energy. Guys, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the like button a lot to show that you like me on video better than Ben. <laughs> was, I was having a hard time. <laughs> so yeah, leave us a comment if you have any ideas about what's going on with this stuff. Um, maybe you've run across it or seen it. Let us know. Let us know if you like it. Let us know if you hate us. Let us know if you like it that I'm back. I miss you guys. Bye. Premiere day, you should have probably cut your hair. Dang it. <laughs> uh, Are we going? Yeah, if you want to do, do you, do you remember how to do an intro? Guys, we're going to be updating you on some awesome animals. And I'm back. Stay tuned. We're Ben's, doing the cutting. Ben's strong. You did the row. We're doing both. Well, we're doing two separate videos, right? You want me to do the cutting right now? Oh, I don't care. I thought I was starting with that. But you I'll can start this. with that, but you put your gloves on. You got the scissors out. I always wear gloves. All right. <laughs> it's not so easy anymore. Right. Take a couple months off. See what happens. <laughs> and that's where I do the music. Dun, 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 dun.